Hello there, this is Seth Juarez from DevExpress, and I wanted to show you some changes we've made in version 2010, volume 2, to better support Azure. What I've done here is I've created a supplier's report based upon the Northwind database. This Northwind database is actually an instance of SQL Azure, as you can see here. The report binding has been done through this data set, and notice that when I actually preview the report, it actually brings back data from SQL Azure. I've also set up this document map just to show that this feature also works. Okay, this report lives in this report library together with the data set and the actual report. And then we have this web role that we've set up called Web Reports. That's just a standard ASP.NET application. But in the default page, I've added all of the, all of the information needed to load this report together with this sitemap, the toolbar, and the report viewer. All right, let's run it and see what happens. I'm going to hit F5. And notice that the program loads as expected. On the left-hand side, we have the bookmarks that we set up. Notice that when I click on them, it goes to the right and expected place. Notice also that when I actually ran this particular Azure program, in the properties, I set an instance count to two, which means that this is spread over two different instances. When you load up the development fabric, you can see that that is indeed the case. Okay, let's spend a minute actually deploying this to the cloud. Let me hit stop right here. When I right click on Azure reports, there is this cool setting called publish where I've gone ahead and set up a staging environment in Azure that has our own hosted environment. Let me click OK. At the bottom, there is this Windows Azure activity log that's going to show what's happening. Notice that it's preparing and connecting and uploading, and then it's going to go ahead and push everything up to the cloud. Let me bring up the browser again so you can see that indeed it is being pushed up to the cloud. Notice that the staging environment is in its initialization stage, and there are two different instances that it's going to run on. Let's go back and check on the progress. All right, looks like it completed. Let's click the website URL, which is the staging environment. And show you that the report loads just like you would expect. And also the bookmarks. Okay, the next thing to do is to move this particular staging environment over to the production. So all I do is click this button, swap the staging with the production, and hit OK. Okay, it looks like the swap completed. Now all we need to do is see how it works. Let me click the link for the website URL and show you that indeed the report works just as expected. Here on the left-hand side, we have the bookmarks. I'm gonna click one to load it up. And notice that everything works just as you would expect. And notice that it is indeed on the cloud. Hopefully you also noticed how fast it was. Uh, it turns out that running things on the cloud is a lot faster. Additionally, you might've noticed that I've blurred out some of the URLs. It's not to hide anything, but these are temporary URLs that I just set up for this demonstration. Just a little reminder, if you would, check my blog for a reporting in Azure platform blog post. There are a couple of caveats that you need to remember when working with reports in a medium trust environment. You can look at them on my blog at devexpress.com front slash Seth. Okay, thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.